Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about EPOS solutions. And in particular, we're going to revisit the SumUp Solo. Now, why are we going to revisit that? Well, we were actually contacted by SumUp themselves and they have sent us their add-on for the Solo itself, which actually makes it more complete and eradicates probably one of the biggest problems we had with that original review. So with one tiny update, is it possible that the SumUp Solo can actually finally compete with the rest of the solutions out there. Let's find out. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fanta New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Bobfix, and also your friendly podcast host, which goes live 8.30 a.m. with Ask the Accountant. So, Full disclosure on this video, we have been sent the hardware we're about to discuss. Well, we've been sent the additional piece of hardware, we're more on that in a moment. So please do take that into mind when we look at any views, but these views are our own and some of themselves have not had any opportunity to say what we can and can't say. Right, back to the video. So let's think about what's going on at the moment. Well, on this channel, we talk a lot about EPOS solutions. And one of our favorite types of EPOS solutions are what we would call a terminal. And the beauty of a terminal is that it does everything in one, including printing. Now, in a past video, we talked about the sum up solo. And one of the massive positives, I'm sure you can agree about this, is the form factor. Look how dinky this device is. And with a device like this, this is definitely going to be classed as pocketable. From the other devices, I'm not 100% sure how big they think our pockets are if you're going to try and stick this in your pocket or even this one. But this, in the form factor that it is, is definitely pocketable. And in the review we showed, there are a lot of features on here which actually means that it can compare to what we had before. Only one downside, and that is that it doesn't have a printer associated with it. And for most people, printing the receipt isn't the end of the world. But there are a lot of times out there when actually printing a receipt is important. Now, to get around it in the device itself, you can opt to send emails or text messages and have that electronic invoice. But that is hit and miss when it comes to consumers. Some consumers have no problem with providing emails and text messages to get their receipts. Others find it a little bit intrusive or they might find it as a bit of a barrier of entry to make the sale because they're thinking, well, that's an extra bit of time they don't want to go through. So offering the opportunity to print directly from the product is always going to be something important. Now, in fairness, there are Bluetooth and Wi-Fi printers you could get available that could have it print over maybe in a hospitality environment like a cafe or something. Having the printer at the front desk or printer at wherever you're going to take the payment from, probably not a problem. But what about if you're in a taxi or if you're out and about. Well, that's when having a printer that can kind of connect to this becomes really, really important. That's where some up have come in to rescue the point. And we're gonna see if adding a printer accessory to this can make this the ultimate point of sale solution. Let's have a look. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, as you can see here, we have our sum up solution just here. As we said in the original review, really like this little cradle it comes up, makes it really easy to charge. But next to me here is the Solo printer. Now, this little device, you can buy it as the printer itself is what I've got here, or you have the opportunity to buy it with this as well. And the idea would be that this gives you the opportunity to have printer kit. Now, this is the printer only version. So I'm not expecting of one of these bad boys in there but at least it gives me the option to print accordingly. Let's have a look. So, first of all, when you open up the device, you can see that from here you get a nice little sum up card. Let's have a look what you have in here. Uh, a nice little opportunity to stick that in your window again. We always like to see that. Another little uh, card area that we can stick up so people can understand what card payments can have. And actually, if I look at it, yep, yeah, exactly the same. I do remember a update coming through that JCB card was available as well. So, you know, at some point now, I'm sure that will get updated accordingly. Got some safety information. Sure how dangerous this could be, but let's make sure. So from a safety point of view, um, basically, please make sure that you read all safety information below before using your advice, which ultimately is just make sure that you're using the equipment that comes with it. 
Cool. User guide, quite an extensive user guide here, which is good to see. We've got um, how to put the paper in and out, what else we're going to get with it. Yeah, as you can see in the full version of it, you do get the actual card reader, but we already have that one. Then we come to the important bit of here. So this lovely cradle, I quite like this actually. Um, and one of the advantages you do have on this is it's giving us a nice little um, extra charging point at the bottom. So, you know, there's an opportunity here to, to see exactly what we've got. Um, a nice little card to show you exactly how to get started. A bit of a quick user guide, which I'm loving to see. Um, straight away, you can see how easy it is to get the paper in and out of this machine. So it's going to make this nice and straightforward. Uh, what else have we got in the box before we go any further? We've got extra, extra seat rolls, which I love to see. And a nice power cable here. USB-C to USB-C, and then a power brick with USB-C on it as well. I am loving the fact that everything's going USB-C. Um, we had a look at a EPOS solution the other day, had a micro USB on there. Not, not for me, not for me. The fact that we've got USB-C on this device, absolutely brilliant. Makes it more versatile, right? Like it, if you're in a pinch and you've only got your phone charger with you um, or your laptop charger for example chances are that's going to be USB-C as well so the fact that we're getting USB-C only devices is great to see I said there's more paper rolls in there as well and the charger's there and from the charging point of view it looks like you can just go in and put that in there like that and then you've got a choice which way do you want that wire going from left or right that's going to keep it nice and clean and tidy yeah, so as a use case just here, all I'm going to be doing is uh, just plugging it directly into my PC, USB-C, and then look, it looks like it's ready to accept a charge there. So I'm loving this one. You've got a nice little flicky USB-C there. That's so you can get the device in there. But ultimately, yeah, I'm quite liking this. Oh, and they've also got another power button on the side, because obviously once you've got this in the device, uh, you're not going to be able to turn the power on or off. Ah, let's have a play around then, see what we think about it. So if we compare the two cradles as they come, this came with my original cradle. This is the new one. And again, what I do like about that is if you wanted to, you could turn this off around. Well, it looks like there might be a little bit of power in there. We'll see. But yeah, we're just going to put that through like this. Goes back to green. And then this time around, the wire is going there. So interestingly, as I've gone to put this in, it has actually come up there's a new software available. So let's make sure we download that. I'm not sure if the software is designed to kind of help it work with this new device, or if that new software is just going to help us um, have a few more features within here. While the updates are coming through, let's see what's happened. So what's new? Transaction now two times faster. Solar standby mode time has increased from four days to 25 days. That's a huge increase. Um, so that basically means it's going to be available to pick up and go. That is a definitely an advantage over some of the competitors, we might want to say, where if you don't have this left on charge, uh, the chance of you picking up and it's actually good to go is slim. So good to see there. So they can now print automatically after each transaction. That's definitely something we're going to test and that's going to help with this new printing, right? Uh, and connectivity enhancements and bug fixes. So good to see. We're looking forward to how that's going to work through. Just letting it update as it goes through. Okay, so after the download in two minutes of installation, looks like we are back ready to rock and roll. We'll just come up with the sum up logo as we can see here. Okay, so here it is all working as intended. Right then, so now that we've got the update and let's just make sure straight away we've got some new options here that we didn't have before. So the solo printer is now being shown at 25% battery. So that confirms that with the solo printer, you get extended battery life. We can also tick a little box here and say automatic printing, which would mean that as soon as I make a sale, I should expect the printer to go through. Let's have a look then. So let's make a one pound sale. What we said in the original review of this, what we do like is this custom tip functionality. The idea that one pound, two pound, three pound coming through and then it goes through and gives you the opportunity to put that on. So the idea is I would pass this to the customer. The customer then can make their opportunity or mind up if they want to tip us or not. And if not, 
I just press no tip. And then as you can see, it gives me the opportunity. I can get my card out, pay by card. And the magic of this one, it should automatically start printing. Trans transaction successful. And as you can see here, the print has come through. Still gives me those other options. So I have the opportunity to make another print if I want to, or I could send the printer, send the receipt via email or SMS. So that's nice to see. And then I can press the print button, maybe to print another one off if needed. There we are. Um, no image at the top there. So I wonder if we can figure out how to get the image up there. But other than that, that is uh, coming through with authorization code, verification code, sales, merchant IDs, all that good stuff. So we do get the receipt coming through. No breakdown of the VAT, but apart from that, all good. Right, so let's press done. Um, let's see from a settings point of view, if there's any way to change any of that. Uh, software, display, languages. So they print, oh, no, uh, details, paperweight version. Okay, okay. Sales history. Where's that one pound that's there? Pending payout, refund receipt. So if I wanted to, I could go back in and take a receipt directly from my sales history if I want to. So that's quite good. Or send via email as I need to from there. I could go back to maybe some of the transactions we did the other day. Go into those, click into the transactions, and I go back and get uh, previous receipts if I need to. So receipts are looking good. I love the kind of fact it's still quite small. You do get a button on this side as well, so I can turn the receipt on and off nice and easily, which we like to see. Loving the fact it's charging, even better the fact it gives some extra battery life on there. Um, do like that completely. Connections, got the Wi-Fi going from there. Settings wise, everything's looking good. What I did want to do though, is if I go into the Sum Up app. So at the moment I've got my small pair attached here, which is the older one. I am gonna switch though to another card reader. And the reason I'm doing that is because on here, you can set this to this to be a card reader that works with your iPad. Now, the one slight disadvantage I found when doing it this way, here it is, compare the last digits, connect. Connect to the card terminal. The one disadvantage I found from doing this is it we lose some of the functionality on here. But let's see now that I've got my sum up solo going up, because what I do like about having this way of doing it is the fact that I get all my functionality. So for example, I can pick a sausage carb, I can go bacon, I can add that, and there's my one pound. Now if I press charge, what will be interesting to see if I use my card reader, my card reader comes to life, does ask my custom tips, which I absolutely love. So this could be, you know, client facing, and you say no tip if you want to. One moment please, and let's go and make a payment. Now, what I wanna know is, are we also gonna get a printout? Automatic receipts are on. Somewhat ready. No, we don't. All right. Is it because I've not set this up? Let's go and see if there is any options for printing. No, it doesn't look like this is coming up as a printer for some device, which is really disappointing, actually. Which, yeah, is a huge shame. I was hoping that if we added the Bluetooth functionality on here that it would do. I'm now going to turn Bluetooth back off. It's going to revert back to the full functionality of the device itself, but it does mean from an iPad point of view, then we can't use it uh, to accept payments, which for me, if I'm going to add an iPad and use the iPod functionality, I would probably be looking more than anything to add probably one of those other devices like the summer pair, something like that. Um, I think that's a better fit into an iPad than maybe the summer solo. It's just a shame you lose the functionality that you have with here. So there is an update for the solo printer itself. So let's see what updates we get. A few moments later. So even after the update to the printer, still not liking the iOS functionality, which is a great shame. That would be a really nice feature. If we could have this taking the printout for you on your iPad as well, or your iPhone, I think that'd be a great solution. Currently though, that's not enabled. But the form factor itself is the appealing factor, right? This is a very nice compact device. And you don't have to take the printer with you with a quick pull of it. You can then just take this tiny little device with you, stick it in a pocket, and this is definitely a pocketable experience. 
unlike, as we keep saying, some of the competitors out there. So I love the functionality. I love the form factor. I still feel like the connectivity to the iOS device could be a little bit better. And for me, we're still waiting on some software updates to this to enable things like products and stuff to be on this device. Once we've got the ability to do some product management on it, I think we'll have to have a racers. But this does definitely improve some of my gripes I had with it originally. So I would highly recommend getting both of these together. And I feel like you're going to have a really powerful EPOS solution that literally is pocketable. Hello, future Aaron here. I've had the opportunity to put this device into a few clients' hands. We've been really excited and also had a chance to catch up with some up themselves just to ask a few questions on what my initial thoughts were. Have I got it wrong? So ultimately, from my first initial reactions, I think I've got it spot on with my, what my reactions were to this. When you put this into clients, they pretty much agree with us. This is one of the best form factors for a card machine that's out there. If you look at this compared to the competitors nothing else really works like the idea that this here easily fits in a pocket no problem whatsoever and you've got the opportunity then to be able to have everything you need to be able to make a sale in the palm of your hand and when you look at it compared to other solutions which may be having to connect to mobile phones or ipads or tablets then we do like this all-in-one solution and it does give us that flexibility and every client that i saw really really likes it they like the software as well. More on the software to come though, though, because we've got an actual review of some of the more advanced software coming. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Because I think looking at the software that that's comes natively with here, and then the software that you have the opportunity to have later down the line, could be absolutely huge. And I really do think that that's where most of the benefits of this whole sum up ecosystem is going to come from. And I think that's one of the advantages of using some up compared to some of the competitors, because you have that whole idea where you can start off with just this to start, start your business and keep growing and growing and growing until you can have a whole multi location solution. And I think that's really, really exciting. Other advantages that we seem to have with this particular solution is this printer, which is the reason that we kind of came back to look at this um, again, works really, really well. It'd be nice if we can have some kind of customization of what the, the print looks like when it comes out. But the fact that it's all in this little device here and adds a bit of extra charge to it, we really like. And then we came to those obvious issues that we had in the first part of this video. And then we were talking to them with other clients and, and other prospects who were thinking about using this for their shop. And we've all come to the same conclusion that, yeah, this really does need at some point to have some sort of product solution, something on there, so that we have an opportunity as the seller, as the people who's utilizing and using the service, to be able to show exactly what we have been selling at any point in time. I spoke to some up about it, and it does look like that is something that they are considering. And I think if they do, when they put this in, so keep tuned onto this channel, because if they do, we're definitely gonna be looking at it straight away, then this could be the ultimate device. Obviously, the workaround that they have is working really well. I mean, they did mention, you know, put it to your iPad like we've shown in the demo, Bluetooth it over to here. You do get that whole experience that we're looking for. So we do have that. It's just that when we use that at the moment, we are compromised to what this can actually achieve. You know, it's not going to be as portable as it was. And unfortunately, then you lose your 4G connectivity, which I absolutely love about this. And it does make the printer kind of useless at that point in time. But I do think that for most businesses out there, this is a really good bit of kit. I'm gonna send you back to previous Aaron, who's gonna go through and do that end of the video. But I think more than anything else, this is the start of the journey for this device. And I think that keeping yourself locked onto this channel will make sure that if there's any updates out there, you'll be the first to know. If this video has been good for you, then why not think about using the opportunity to subscribe to the channel? Don't forget to use the comment sections below to ask us any questions you may have on this device. Keep an eye on the channel as well, as we're going to do some actual deep dives into comparing this to other solutions. And thanks to SumUp, we've also got the opportunity to look at some of their other solutions, including their more powerful iOS able device, which would actually give us an opportunity to have far more functionality than we've ever had before. And I'm really excited to show you what that would look like. 
So my name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. Don't forget to use the links below if you want to start looking into maybe getting your hand on one of these devices. A massive thank you to SumUp for providing this actual device itself. And hopefully you agree that actually it's a great accessory for the SumUp Solo. My name's been Aaron Patrick. As always, this video has been great to do. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.